I've had solar on my own roof, with a system that I own, for almost eight years. Was it worth it? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Brad the Solar Guy. Today, I'm going to give you a review of the solar system I have on my own roof that I've owned for seven and a half years. Stay tuned and I'll give you all the details. The solar system that I installed is a 13.34 kW system with a DC optimized Solar Edge 10 kW inverter. The system was turned on in January of 2017, so I have seven and a half years of data from my ownership, including the production as well as the costs of fixing it a few times. In 2016, we decided to build a house and I was already in the solar business, so I knew we wanted to have solar. So we designed the house with solar in mind and we put up the maximum size system we were allowed to at the time. The limit at the time was a 10 kW AC inverter. And with the solar edge technology available then, I was able to put a 13.4 kW DC solar system on my roof behind that. There are many reasons I went with a solar edge DC optimized inverter system and I've gone over most of those, if not all of them, in another video. The solar panels in this system are black on black, 295 watt. I actually don't even remember the manufacturer. As I've gone over in another video, I don't think that's very important. One of the things a little different about my install from most people's is that I decided to have the inverter put in my garage. Normally we mount them outside by the meter or inside by the main service panel. But that end of the house where the main service panel and the meter are, are right next to my wife's office. That inverter makes noise when it's producing electricity. It has a hum or a buzz to it. And my wife is very sensitive to noise, so I didn't want to have that near her office. So we chose to have it mounted in the garage. And I think that ended up being a good choice. But it did mean a lot of extra wiring inside, which was easy to do because the house was still under construction at the time. So one of the big questions everyone has is, how much did it cost? So how much did I pay for my system? Well, let's do some math. At the time, uh, I was charging all of my customers about $4 a watt. It depended on adders, which are things that are complicated on individual jobs, but generally most people were paying $4 a watt. I got a deal because I worked for the company that installed my solar and I paid $3.50 a watt, but let's just do it at four, let's do all the math at $4 a watt to see what the real value for my customers was at the time. 13,340 times four equals $53,360. All right, let's do some research and find out what electricity cost back in 2015 when we built the house. All right, so I found this on this website and it looks like in Massachusetts, residential solar was 19.83 cents per kilowatt hour in 2015. That aligns with my memory. All right, let's find out what the rate is today. So according to Energy Sage, and they're pretty reliable, somewhat, they're saying it's 33 cents a kilowatt hour today in Massachusetts. That absolutely aligns with uh, what I've been seeing on people's bills. It has been above that in uh, that time period, but let's just take uh, 33 cents and 19.83 cents and find the average uh, cost of electricity during that time. So I'm going to go to the calculator and take 33 cents minus 19.83 cents and that's 13.17 cents. Divide that by two and then subtract that from 33 cents. And so our my average cost of electricity across the seven and a half years that I've had solar, if I had to buy it from the grid, would have been 26.415 cents. So my system has produced 96,860 kilowatt hours since it was installed. And we just figured out that the average price per kilowatt hour that I would have paid for that electricity from the utility was 26.415 cents. So we'll multiply 96,860 kilowatt hours by 26.415 cents. And we come up with $25,585 so by going solar, I have avoided paying the utility $25,585 in just seven and a half years. That's crazy.
I'm just gonna divide that number by eight to come up with the average price per year that I would have paid to the utility, and we're gonna put that into a spreadsheet. So that amount is $3,198.19 a year that I've avoided for the first eight years of going solar. And it feels like now is a good time to remind you that if you're interested in getting solar, I can help you with that. Just click the link below in the description and fill out the 30 second survey to see if you qualify. If you do, you'll get to talk to me and I'll give you an accurate assessment of your home's solar potential. The federal and state incentives that I had at the time were pretty great. So I had a 30% federal tax credit on the cost of the whole system, which is still available to everyone today. And I also got a $1,000 tax credit from the state of Massachusetts, also still available today. And then also Massachusetts had an SREC program at the time, Solar Renewable Energy Certificate Program, which is kind of like a made up carbon swapping thing. But anyway, it's a 10 year program. I still have two and a half years left on it and it's already paid me a whole lot of money. The SREC incentive program is no longer available to consumers in Massachusetts. So don't get your hopes up about being able to collect this kind of money. But let's take a look at the amount of money I've been paid in the total over the seven and a half years I've had solar. So I've been paid back uh, since, uh, since 2017 to 2024. I've been paid back to this program a whopping $22,952.40. That is amazing. Now the real question is, has anything gone wrong with my system and how much did that cost me? So let's get into it. So I've actually had three separate problems with my solar system over the seven and a half years that I've owned it. So let's get into what they were. So right around the one year mark, I was showing my solar system to a customer through the Solar Edge app and explaining to them how they could see their system and see if it was working properly when I noticed that one of my panels was black in the app, which meant, meant it was not working. So I was had a five-year warranty with the installation company. They came right out and fixed it, and there was no problem at all. It didn't cost me anything, lost barely any production. Easy peasy, no problem at all. Went exactly as one would hope it would go. Now, the second problem didn't crop up until a couple of years ago. So I'd say about five years into owning the system, a problem came up with the solar edge monitoring that is part of the solar edge inverter system when my system was installed as many many others were at the time it was installed with a cellular chip so it could communicate uh, for monitoring and that technology got sunset by the cell phone companies and you could no longer use it so my solar edge inverter could no longer communicate, which meant I couldn't uh, tell whether it was working or not. And also I couldn't report the production to the state to collect my SREC incentives. So it was really a bummer. And uh, unfortunately, the company that installed it wanted to charge me $1,000 to come and uh, fix this, which it would either get a new cellular card or what I did was I hardwired it into my modem, which I think is a much better way to go if you can do it. Um, and so we're gonna put that in as a cost of $1,000. I ended up having the solar company I was working for at the time fix it and was not charged for it, but that was just my luck. So I think we can chalk that up to a $1,000 charge. And that was totally unexpected. Being in the solar business, I didn't even know that was going to be a thing. And I went through it and now I do. And it was a bummer for a lot of people who lost monitoring and had to pay a bunch of money that they weren't expecting to get that fixed. And then the third thing that happened was actually very recently, just a couple of months ago, uh, system went down, had been down for a few weeks. I called up the installation company. They were still in business. They were still willing to come and uh, look at it and fix it. I was out of the five-year warranty, uh, but luckily they were still super responsive. They came right out and they found a fuse that had blown and that was uh, easy for them to fix, but it cost 160 bucks. And I thought that was fair uh, deal. And then actually it happened again, another fuse blow blew like a week later and they came back and turned out that uh, there was a little bit of a, a wiring problem that was heating the fuses too much. So they fixed the whole thing and ended up not charging me again. So uh, just cost me 160 bucks for that problem. So total cost in terms of repairs and maintenance for my system seven and a half years in has been $1,160. And then the amount of production I lost with those outages, probably lost about a total of four or five weeks of production. 
Um, but I'm not going to, you know, that misproduction is not counted in any of my totals for uh, calculating what the system has brought in. So it's already, you know, baked in, if that makes sense. So by far the most important lesson that I've learned in owning my solar is that it's incredibly important that you get it from a company that's going to stand behind you. And I know that's impossible almost to tell from the get-go, although certainly you can do some things to help with that decision making. But my system has, you know, had issues a few times and the company has come out to fix them. Now, critically, I always saw the problem. So I monitor my system through the Solar Edge app, and I strongly recommend that anyone that has solar does their own monitoring and does not rely on any solar company that says they're going to monitor the system. Again, I caught all all the problems every time with my system, and if I hadn't, it would you know I would have had to wait to get a high electric bill. But I looked at the monitoring app and therefore noticed. So, critical thing is is that you monitor your own system so you know if it's functioning, and that if it's not, you hopefully have a company that you can call that's going to take care of you. So you have good warranties and uh, good labor warranty. But also equally important to the warranties is the fact, you know, is the idea that that company's actually going to be there and going to take care of you and treat you fairly. So those are the, that's the most important lesson I've learned from my eight years or almost eight years of owning solar. Let's take a look at my solar as if I paid for it with cash. We'll go over how I actually financed it in the next section. So I paid $53,360 for the system and it was subject to a 30% federal tax credit, which I got back, so we'll multiply it by 0.7. That brings us to $37,352. So we'll take away $1,000 for the state income tax credit that I received, and that brings us to $36,352. And then, of course, I also have received $22,952 in SREC money, so that was cash in my pocket. So that brings us down to $13,400. And then of course, I avoided buying all of that electricity from the utility. And we went back and researched and figured out that that would have cost $25,584. So we'll take that out. And now we're at I had $12,184. But of course, I had some costs for repairing. So that was $1,160. So we'll add that back in. So $1,160. So on a cash basis, seven and a half years in, uh, we are $11,024 ahead on our solar system. That is unbelievable. All right, let's take a look at how I actually financed my solar project, which was I was able to put it into my construction loan that then turned into my mortgage. So basically I have a very low interest 30 year payment on my solar, which is very unusual, uh, but let's just go over how it's worked out for me. So I financed $53,360 at about 3.5% interest, really probably a little better than that, but let's just put that total amount in. So 53360 interest rate of 3.5%, and the term length is going to be 30 years now. Solar loans you can't really get for 30 years, but you know this is the way I did mine, so I'm just trying to disclose exactly how it happened for me. So my monthly payment on that out of my mortgage is $239.61 a month over 30 years. So my total payments would come out to $86,259.69. So that's a whole lot of money. So we're going to figure out if that was worth it. I'm going to pull up a spreadsheet here and we're going to put all the numbers in. So I already have the $17,008 in tax credits. And you'll see that reflected there. That's both the federal and the state. And then we just figured out what the utility savings were on average. So we're just going to do the math and it comes out to $3,198 a year. And we're just going to put that average amount in for the first eight years. So we're going to put that in. And then we've already figured out the SRECs, which are $2,869 on average for the, on average for the first eight years. So we're just going to put that in. And then we also have $1,000 in expenses that when we paid to get the solar system fixed, and then another $160 in expenses for repairs in year eight. So we're just going to put all of that in. And then we're going to go over and we're going to look and it looks like on a cash flow basis, in the first year, I was $20,200 ahead. That is absolutely crazy. And it's just going to go up from there. So you can see in year eight, which is where I'm at now, I'm $43,700 ahead. Obviously, best investment I've ever made. That's incredible. 
but let's project out what we think is going to happen in the future. So we're going to put in uh, two more years of SREX, and we'll just use those same numbers, 2869. It'll be close enough. Uh, it'll be a little under, a little over that, but I think good enough for our purposes. And then the utility savings. So right now, utility rates are 33 cents a kilowatt hour. So to figure out the utility savings, we're just going to multiply that 33 cents times what the solar produces. So we're just going to take 12,000 kilowatt hours a year and multiply it by 33 cents. And that current number is then going to be a savings this year of $3,960 in avoided utility costs. So now it's been going up an average of 7.5% annually in Massachusetts for the last two decades. But that's a crazy high number. So we'll just put in a 5% annual price rise for the utility. And we're just going to put that in. And then we're going to see what our savings will add up to in the future. Now, it'll probably be higher than this. But if we put it in at a 5% utility price hike a year, here are the numbers. And so you can see that uh, in if it only goes up 5% annually in the last year, I'll avoid $11,000 in utility costs, probably be more than that. My total savings would be over $138,000 after 30 years. That is unbelievable. So in conclusion, any way that you look at my solar system, financially, it's been a huge success. I have avoided tons of costs for my electricity, and obviously those costs are just going to rise in the future. So the real value of my system is actually going to show itself in the next 20 to 30 years.